welcome to Blueprint IoT. In this video, we will cover the first content about the Volterra V1, a PCB printer. So this is about the first test project, but be ready for many more videos. So of course, first of all, you need to plug it in, turn it on and connect it to a computer. To do so, you have this USB type B cable on the printer side, the classy printer cable and a USB type A on the computer side. So in my case, using a MacBook Pro with only USB-C ports, I needed to use an adapter, which may look a bit bulky, but anyway, it's working. As soon as you're connected, of course, you need to install the Volterra software. You can download it on their website for free. So you can just start the software, connect the printer. It will automatically recognize the printer within seconds. As you can see also here in the video, printer is already connected at this point as soon as you see this start screen then you can choose between print or drill or solder yeah so a lot of stuff you can do which we will cover in other videos there are different pastes to print the actual circuit so you have to select which one is yours and there are special ones for flexible material which is also possible so that's something you have to dig into I will speed up everything here because this video is basically only a time-lapse video. So it's a rapid prototyping printer basically, but it's not this rapid once you actually do it. Anyway, it feels super fast once you uh, while you're doing it because it's amazing once you etched a uh, once you etched a PCB in your in your lab or at home or wherever you know how much effort it is to set up everything, do the actual etching maybe do it twice or three times because it's not so sufficient or not so good quality. So do, being able to do all of this just in one workflow is super cool. Anyway, first of all, you mount the probe, what I have already done here in the video, and then the probe will measure all the different, the different points on the, on the PCB itself. The PCB itself is a raw material without any copper plating or something. In this case, it's an FR1 compared to the standard FR4 material because you can drill more easily through it. Here you see the probe in a close shot. You can see that the probe needs to like align first. There was a bunch of measurement devices inside the, the, the top of the printer where it can measure its height and its X and, and Y position. And now it's doing its measurements. And this is real time here. It's not a slow-mo, so it's really, really slow and I don't get it, it's like going all the way up and down. So that's something for me that could be really improved to speed up the process. And even now it's not going this high anymore, but anyway, it's taking quite a while and you have to do a lot of measurements points. Again, I speed up here for eight times the speed and you still can see how time consuming this process is because Basically what, what it's doing is it's measuring the height, like creating a height map of the, of the, uh, of the circuit board or the, the raw material. But doing so, I am not sure if really this many measurement points are necessary. Like mounting the probe, as you can see here, is super easy. It's a magnetic system. It just locks in place. It's all great. But like it's taking just forever to take those measurement points. And now we can actually start with printing again. You can see that the printer is trying to align and figure out where's the nozzle necessary process. But again, it's doing a bunch of things twice and it's just consuming a lot of time every, t every time you have to do it. But anyway, actual printing super fast. You can see it's only 30 seconds for this test print. So that's basically for you to adjust all the different um, yeah, things you can you can manipulate which is basically the flow so you can adjust how yeah let's how, how hard or how far the printer should push the the liquid the printing liquid so it's not a liquid it's like a paste and it's silver based we don't know anything more about it and here you can see it it's printing kind of test structure so you can see it's like too thick is it too thin is there no material at all and um, this could be because the printer the printer uh, nozzle is too far away or too close to the to the circuit board or of course the the flow is not sufficient enough so you can adjust the flow while you're doing it 
So at this point the paste is not dry so you can easily remove it just with a paper towel. So I think that's also something very useful and cool so you can make mistakes and just like smoothen them out right afterwards. Now we are heading for actual printing which to, will take only three minutes. And honestly guys <laughs> I think this is amazing. <laughs> like you can just literally see how the structure is created out on, on, a, on a plain piece of raw material and this is the actual circuit that is being printed right in front of your eyes so that that's amazing funny thing you can see here it's sometimes ending stopping printing in the middle of nowhere um, that's not because there's a mistake or something it will take care of this later so it will finish this this circuit um, or this this line of, of solder paste not solder paste is silver paste later so you don't have to worry about it but come on it looks so crazy cool uh, because it's just amazing to see like as the, you, you can literally literally see the path the electricity will later flow by the printer printing this path for the electricity so that's really crazy Anyway, let's go back to the top view and see the whole process in a time-lapse view again. This is real time and we're going to time-lapse in, lapse in a second. So you can see it again. It's just doing its thing. It's taking only three minutes to print the whole circuit. Of course, it's only one layer. You, of course, you could also print on the back layer, on the bottom layer. And of course, it's only a test circuit, so it's quite simple. But anyway, there are some THT parts involved so through hole technology so those with the little the little wires on both ends and some SMD surface mounted devices so some of the little chips that you need to solder down the reflow soldering uh, process so it's only a simple one but anyway three minutes is super fast but honestly those three minutes they, 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 they don't count at all because the whole process of like measuring of the probe in the first place measuring x y z position of the nozzle every time that's what's eating up your time not the actual process of printing it but i think that's fine overall it's still super fast you within a half an hour you have your or like even less if you're a little bit trained you're you're done with your whole circuit board and without having anything to clean no no etching liquid or whatever to take care of something that's also a bit yeah annoying is this like mounting system you have to screw it in and those threads are not really good so it's it's really a bit tricky but once you're done with printing it's unfortunately not ready to go you need to like bake it they call it baking but yeah um, it's basically like a hardening process so this paste will will be solid afterwards unfortunately this whole process is taking close to one hour and here you see how it works that's what you can always see on the screen the yellow line is where we are supposed to be the red line is where we are actually right now so i will speed up again i think this time it's even like 15 times faster than the reality whatever so i don't want to bore you with the screen but what you can see it's like trying to hold its position on, uh, on, on the temperature level later on it's turning off and having like a cool down curve you see this little let this little break here and it's cooling down quicker that's because we used a fan to accelerate the whole process so that's the final product i think it looks amazing you only have to refine it a bit there's a, something where you can like not sanding but like very smooth sponge basically where you can just smooth out the surface so that's that's fine and yeah that's basically all the, the whole process of printing it the software will walk you through step by step that's really great and we will have another video because it's already nine minutes thanks for watching if you like the content make sure to give a thumbs up if you're interested and see the other videos about reflow soldering drilling and all the other stuff and great projects we are actually capitalizing the printer make sure to be subscribed and see you next time